The latest 2024 Hollywood action blockbuster, Land of Bad, hits the scene, delivering fight sequences so exhilarating, they make you feel like you're right in the middle of the action. This film stars Liam and Luke in the lead roles. Fans of this genre definitely won't want to miss out. Enough chit-chat. Let's dive into the movie. U.S. Special Forces carry out a hostage rescue operation in the southern Philippines. They dispatch a four-man team to infiltrate a terrorist base, with a drone providing combat support and relaying live footage back to headquarters. No sooner had each member taken their position than the terrorists began a merciless slaughter of the hostages. Sparing neither children nor women, the scene turned bloodily brutal, forcing the team to act immediately. With the drone's missile cover, the women and children managed to escape. Their hiding spot now exposed, Kinney was hiding on top of the roof, with three terrorists right below him. He cautiously attempted to draw his handgun, but as Kinney looked up, he locked eyes with a terrorist in a deadly stare. Suddenly, a teammate's bullet exploded the terrorist's head. The remaining two terrorists were simultaneously taken down by the team. Just as Kinney was about to leave the roof, a bomb detonated in front of him. A large group of terrorists advanced on them. Despite their elite skills, they were outnumbered. In the ensuing chaos, Abel was shot and died shortly after, as the terrorists intensified their assault. Two more teammates fell under the terrorists' grenade launcher fire. Just then, the missile meant to rescue them arrived belatedly. The sole survivor, Kinney, retreated into the forest under missile cover, guided by his boss at headquarters, codenamed Reaper. Shortly afterwards, colleagues at headquarters discovered terrorists operating in the vicinity of Kinney. He rushed to hide at a secret spot by the river. A terrorist drove up, while two others arrived on horseback to meet. Kinney's hiding spot, usually hard to detect was compromised by a purebred golden retriever with the terrorists, who discovered him. The dogs barking alerted one terrorist, who drew his gun and approached Kinney's hiding spot. Fortunately, the dog barked a few times then ran off, and the terrorists left after their meeting. Kinney was temporarily out of danger, following Reaper's directions. He continued to retreat until nightfall. Headquarters sent a helicopter to pick him up at a designated location. However, just as he was about to board the plane, he was attacked by terrorists. The helicopter's noise attracted the terrorists, who collectively fired at it. The helicopter's gunner exchanged fire with the terrorists, covering Kinney as he slowly made his way to the helicopter. The terrorists fire a rocket launcher and narrowly miss the plane. The helicopter retreats under the cover of the machine gunners. The terrorists sent several vehicles to reinforce their position, overwhelming Kinney with their firepower. He had no choice but to call for headquarters support. Reaper. Using the coordinates Kinney provided, ordered a drone to fire a missile. Bullshit. Eliminating all terrorists on sight. Just then, another truckload of terrorists arrived. Kinney fought and retreated, restrained by the enemy's firepower. Reaper then dispatched a fighter jet, Hornet, to support Kinney. It seemed Kinney would finally be safe after a fireworks display of support. However, a few hidden terrorists still posed a threat, their firepower undiminished. Under Hornet's cover, Kinney made a break for it. After a series of explosions, the scene finally calms down. The Hornet, having no place to land, is forced to return to headquarters. Due to the helicopter's return, Kinney is left with no choice but to seek a way out through the dense forest, only to accidentally trip and fall into the icy river water. At this time, three terrorists are searching for him. Kinney shockingly discovers his gun got stuck in tree roots during the fall. Going back for it was definitely out of the question, but fortunately, he still had a handgun on him. In the chaos, he managed to take out one terrorist. Soon after, Kinney ran out of bullets and fled in panic. Two terrorists relentlessly pursued him, 
forcing Kinney to the edge of a waterfall, from which he took a leap. Unexpectedly, terrorists had already ambushed below the waterfall, and thus, Kinney was captured. The scene shifts to a man infiltrating the terrorist camp, quickly taking down two terrorists. It turns out he is Kinney's teammate, Sugar. The grenade launcher hadn't killed them. He informs Kinney that another teammate, Bishop, has been captured by the terrorists. They now have an additional side mission to rescue Bishop. After escaping, Kinney contacts headquarters and requests Reaper to bomb the terrorist base to support their rescue mission. Headquarters agrees to their request. They plan to fire the missile in 15 minutes, but unfortunately, their communication equipment runs out of battery at this moment. The two then sneak into the terrorist base to rescue the hostage, initiating a fierce battle. As the two Special Forces soldiers storm the terrorist base, they find two terrorists watching a soccer match. Kinney and his team launch a surprise attack, killing all terrorists in sight. After breaking out, they continue to battle a small group of terrorists. After eliminating this group, they push forward. Encountering another wave of terrorists in the corridor, during the fight, Sugar is shot. This complicates not only the rescue mission but also their chances of escaping. Kinney and Sugar continue to fight together, but a terrorist launches a surprise attack from behind. The two grapple in a pool. The terrorist's gun is nearly pressed against Kinney's head when, in a critical moment, Sugar shoots the terrorist in the head. Just then, a bomb is thrown in front of them. Following the explosion, the scene changes. Kinney is captured by terrorists again, and in the cell next to him is the teammate they intended to rescue, Bishop. The terrorists drag Sugar out and execute him in front of Kinney, with less than 15 minutes remaining until the missile strike agreed upon between Kinney and headquarters. Kinney was dragged up by the terrorists and subjected to a severe beating. The terrorist leader wields a hammer and smashes out one of Kinney's teeth, pressuring him to reveal the whereabouts of other team members. Like all heroes, Kinney refused to speak, no matter what. So, the leader ordered his men to forcefully dunk him in water, unexpectedly. This action allowed Kinney to narrowly escape a dire fate. At this moment, the first missile is launched. Submerged in water, Kinney perfectly avoids the blast's damage. With the next missile on a 15-minute countdown, Kinney searches for an escape, inadvertently finding the hostages they were meant to rescue. During their escape, they encounter teammate Bishop. Kinney obtained a satellite phone from Bishop and called headquarters five times. Unexpectedly, the soldiers were so passionately engrossed in watching a soccer match that they didn't hear the phone ring at all. Finally, someone answered the phone, but this person was absent-minded and perfunctory Kinney. The soldier said a few words and then hung up the phone to continue to watch the game. Kinney wanted to kill him, with less than 30 minutes until the second missile strike. He urgently calls Reaper. Reaper rushes to the command center to issue a ceasefire order to the fighter jets. The jets zoom past overhead. A second later, and they would have been turned into part of the landscape. Despite the loss of two team members, they successfully rescued the hostages, thus bringing Land of Bad to a close. This is a straightforward popcorn movie. The film starkly contrasts the soldiers fighting on the front lines with those leisurely enjoying drinks and watching soccer matches. The film's ending, with Reaper furiously smashing the TV, expresses strong dissatisfaction with this phenomenon. That wraps up today's commentary. We'll see you next time.